Mickey, you've been here since the morning. Your opening comments and what do you have to say? Uh, my opening comments that Anurag, you are fantabulous. And thank you, Dr. Kothari, for coming for me, especially. So, man, mind, mind is medicine, and mind can become medicine. And for which I'd like to have affirmatory lines. Hogi shanti charo, hogi shanti charo, hogi shanti charo, ek din man me hai vishwas, pura hai vishwas, hogi shanti charo, ek din. Okay, guys. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, guys. Jo man ka mara. वो मनुष्य जो प्रकृति से पूरा होता है वो पूरक होता है वो पूरा होता है वो पुरुष उत्तम होता है शायद वही पुरुषोत्तम राम होता है नाउ दिस इज अ मेटाफर फॉर राम अ कंप्लीट मैन अ टोटल मैन अ मैन हु इज डिजोल्व इन हियर नाउ योग की एक परिभाषा है जो मन की भी एक परिभाषा है जो वेस्टर्न साइंस ऐसे बोलती है a causal non local energy and information with self referral cybernating feedback loops oh my god complication but yog ki dusri paribhasha hai jo hamare yog sutra mein likha hai aur hamare yogiyon ne bataya hai ke swayam mein hona swayam mein sthit swayam mein upasthit swayam mein hona aur swayam ko होने देना अरे दही जमने दो यार वेन यू टेक मिल्क एंड लिटिल योग एंड मिक्स इट लीव इट फॉर ट्वेल्व आवर्स लेट इट बी लेट इट गो अगर बीच में चम्मच घुमाओगे तो दही जमेगा नहीं कर्म का सिद्धांत पूरा यहां नलिफाई हो जाता है होना और होने होने देना बींग एंड बिकमिंग इन बींग इज योर सींग स्वास्थ्य की दूसरी एक परिभाषा है स्वयं में आस्था मन की भी दूसरी परिभाषा है आस्था स्वयं में आस्था सो so, स्वास्थ्य से बने स्वर स्वर से बने सूर सूर अगर संगत में हो तो बने संगत और वो सुरीला संगत बनता है संगीत योर हेल्थ कैन बिकम म्यूजिक फॉर यू शुड यू जस्ट लेट गो ऑफ योर माइंड सो व्हेन माइंड इज यू आर नॉट व्हेन यू आर नॉट माइंड इज It's a paradox. ये विरोधा बात है. Zen says that empty your mind and mind the emptiness. Be aware of the emptiness to be spontaneous, to be intelligent, to connect with the intelligence here. And yes, there are methods to do that. If you just can't be and let go of everything, somebody asked someone this morning, "How do we let go?" The simplest way of letting go. is just first breathe out when a baby first comes out mother's womb struggling through the vaginal canal lapping up the amniotic fluid it first screams and cries that is letting go that's the first lesson of life if you don't let go you will not be able to breathe in easy and in rhythm and if your rhythm is not in place your hriday will go off ye jo damru hai shiv ka wo saas के द्वारा चलता है सो लेट्स टेक डी ब्रेथ एंड लेट गो नाउ व्हेन यू लेट गो नॉट जस्ट फिजिकल बीइंग रिलीजेस टेंशन फ्रॉम योर मस्क्यूलर स्केलेटन सिस्टम बट योर कंस्ट्रिक्टेड एंडोक्राइन आल्सो रिलीजेस आपकी जटर अग्नि को भी हवा मिलती है मन भी छूटता है भावनाएं भी टूट जाती है और एक सफाई से हो जाती है सो वंस अगेन लेट गो ब्रीदिंग लेट योर डायफ एम मूव ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर्स लेट ऑल फाइव लोब्स ऑफ योर लंग बी रिफिल ताउ से टिल यू एम टी यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिफिल लेट गो और मैक्सिमम मन की शांति माइंड इज मेडिसिन तब होती है जब आप हंसते हो बर्फी Okay, so we'll practice this hasya. Hoo hoo, ha ha, ha ha, hoo hoo, ha 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 ha. 
Now let's now let's look at each other and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> जब हंसोगे तो फंसोगे नहीं हंसोगे तो फंसोगे नहीं एंड लेटिंग गो इज रिलीजिंग द कंस्ट्रिक्शन द टाइटनेस जो हमारा शरीर सिकोड़ चुका है उसको एक फैलाव चाहिए उसको एक बहाव चाहिए योग एक बहाव है योग ओपन अप स्पेसेस एंड स्पेशली योग वर्क्स ऑन आकाशा सो वी हैव फाइव वायु इन आर ह्यूमन बॉडी On a, in a human system, the first value is prana, जो सारे सृष्टि का संचालन करता है हमें भी थोड़ा भेंट में मिलता है हम उसकी ऊर्जा समेटते हैं Second value is व्यान वायु जो हमारे हृदय को चलाता है The word rhythm, etymology has come from हृदय Sanskrit सिर्फ एक भाषा नहीं है एक विज्ञान है संसार की कीर्ति संस्कृत संस्कारा संसार of course sanskrit is complete when you engage your epiglottis and your polyvagal nerves so coming to the point let's hum and let go release a kothari sahib before your sexual release this release is very important otherwise this won't happen it is very important to let go emotionally yeah okay miki because we are you and me are between sister shivani stock which all of us we are looking for your talk also i'll ask you one question and take one or two from the audience before yeah yeah move. sure so, uh let me ask you if you had to with this increased awareness of immunity health mental well being the integrative aspects of lifestyle what are your top three predictions for the next 2 3 years you know these days i used to ask 5 years 10 years i'm i don't look that much into the future so yeah so my answer is a little paradoxical who am i to predict anybody's future and no astrology can actually predict they can only give you probability amplitude okay trends okay trends so now that in the digital awareness life we all know that science and energy is random this randomness of energy can be put to shape with human consciousness only man has the potential to rise above gods and fall below animals so humans will get this potential once again because social media will make humans aware once again of this potential energy of consciousness krishna christ mohammed mahadev zarathustra buddha they were all humans and they became gods because they nurtured they blossomed they nourish themselves so the trend of the future is either a man will become a saint or a satan the power of social media the power of digital life the power of technology will either give rise to new world or destroy the world completely but coming to the trends yes wisdom is available on platter but to metabolize wisdom should be an art thank you so much i'll take two questions so that we really keep to time any questions from anyone uh yes chandni when it comes to any kind of improvement or any kind of thing that you want to achieve in life i do believe that consistency is is key but sometimes why is it that we go through a burnout even after setting an intention of let's say becoming a healthier person let's say meditating every day we do it for a couple of days but then to keep <clears throat> doing it the consistency of it what's the magic what's the secret of being consistent in life uh this is what anurag batra has focus laser the acronym for laser is light amplified surgically emitted radiation pinpoint focus that's number one people were talking about destiny destiny certainly is an open phenomena till today till now this was my destiny from here and then i will make my destiny we human beings have two legs to walk towards it hands to make it a mind to perceive it a heart to believe believe in it and a consciousness to achieve it thank you can i give you my answer you know i am not i am no hair i don't have mustache i don't wear it leather shoes leather jacket uh but i'll tell you a lot of people ask me why do i work so hard uh i'm driven but i'll tell you i give them a simple answer one 
I have responsibilities. I have 300 people whose salary. Second, I have dreams and aspirations. So if you want to get somewhere, you will have to be consistent. And you have to be disciplined. You know, I think consistency and discipline. I'm moving, you know, in the last 60, 70 days, I have lots of great colleagues that I work. Devika, Somyaji, Aparna ji is here. You know, she's our director of sales. But I'm moving to a different level. Lots of people are here because I am in my mind want to build a billion dollar in revenue company. You know, I want to be the largest media company in the business space. That's what I want to be. So I'll have to be. So if you want to achieve something, you have to then be disciplined and consistent. So it depends on what you want. Life is a trade-off, right? So it's about your priorities. Consistency comes from having the right priorities. That's what I believe. And I'm saying it, I mean, that's what I believe in in a very simple way. One more question. Yes, the lady here. Please give us your name and how much money do you have in your Swiss bank account? No. My name is Shobha Tahil Ramani. So Swiss account, I can't tell you right now. Okay, Dr. I'll Mickey ask Baba Ramdev. He's been promising for eight years. Okay, tell me. Yeah, Dr. Mickey Mehta, I have one very small question, meaning uh, like whenever we feel sad and I want to convert into the laughter. So if there is a one What's small... What's the What's the That I do. So small tip. Meaning I understand it intellectually, but now I want to just switch my mood. So what do I do? Uh, you know, nature is the best healer. One of the modalities of healing is stopping everything that you're doing and go close to open air, sunlight, open sky, greens, chirping of the birds, sound, touch, smell, taste, vision. Or shut your eyes, let go everything and visualize nature you will immediately be the disruptor. You will break the pattern of distress and stress and you will de-stress. So, you know, I mean, a great poem, poet, William Blake comes to my mind. We are led to believe a lie when we see from and not through the eyes for we are born in the night to be perished in the night while our souls rest in the beams of light. So you're missing out on that light with eyes open, shut your eyes, Seek that light and you'll be happy. Can I give another answer? I'm Thank not you. Mickey Mehta, but it's my answer. It's very simple. You shift your consciousness. You shift your focus. If you focus on the sadness, the sadness will grow. I, it happens to me. Sometimes I get stuck with a colleague. I'm not happy with the output. And I'm like killing the person, literally. But then <clears throat> I have started to learn slowly shift the focus. And, you know, suddenly I become okay. So you have to shift the focus. Whatever you focus on. This is not between me and you. This is about the people listening here. Maybe they get cleared about something. Absolutely, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about proving me or you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Sir. So it's like, what if a person is going through too much level of cortisol inside the body and they have a very messed up kyphotic back? And it's, it's very obvious that they're going to be very stressed throughout their life. Either, they, either a psychiatrist is going to put them on some steroids to, you know, release the compressed nerves very fast. It means, you know, the vagus now. Yep. So if it is under the compression and uh, a person is regularly visualizing nature, why not to give them a solution which would really, really work? Obviously, sir. Not just like... Uh, uh, avoiding it uh, or narrating it with the nature. Why I'm not listening this answer from the morning itself that people are not talking about real science things. Yeah, you talk about first time I met you. Like, you read ki haddi se yes, so ho. it's like How the more practices of yoga are uh, about to elongate and extend the spine. Journalists ki read so ki haddi 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 haddi. Sir, that would have been my second response. Certainly, yoga is indispensable, period. Uh -huh. Hands down. Yoga is the answer for uh -huh. all Revolution, evolution, transcendence, period. I do agree with sir that yes, yoga ought to be done. But the first thing what I thought was letting go, letting the elements within you connect with the elements outside and get stimulated to become one. Once you have the feeling of oneness, that could be a small warm up. And then you would do yoga. Why I said within for a simple reason, Jalauddin Rumi said, I've been living on the lips of insanity, knocking at the door. The door opens. I've been knocking from inside. So looking within was my first answer, sir. Thank you so much. Give Dr. Mickey Rehta a big round of applause. You know, I, I love many things about him, but two are his content and his humor. Sir, so since you give, 
Dr. Mickey Mesa, ah. very big round of applause. Sir, sir, sir. And Sister Shivani will not come on stage till you give Dr. Mickey Mesa a big round of applause. Thank you, thank Bigger. you. Okay, so my parting lines, my 10 commandments of wellness. Let wellness be the religion number one because religions divide, wellness unites. Beautiful. Join wellness revolution for human evolution, not for weight loss, inner thigh, outer thigh. Please. Okay. Let's all pledge today at Dr. Batra's conference for a disease-free world. For strong biceps, uplift the poor. For strong shoulders, take the responsibility of the underprivileged. For strong legs, be rooted in humility to be better fruited in humanity. Sleep every night with a wish to heal yourself. Wake up every morning with a promise to heal your world. And then you can get energized, maximize, naturalize, optimize, internalize, eternalize, revolutionize. With Batra, get mesmerized and get mechanized. Yes. Next time I should be able to do this. Almost there. Right. Yeah.